Hey guys, it's Ryan Share here with PCDJ Dex 3. We've had some inquiries from customers curious about how they could edit the on screen waveform colors. Uh, we do anticipate having a feature in the software where you can manually edit them in options really easily uh, by using a color wheel or something to that effect. But it's actually quite easy to do already by simply editing the skin's XML file. Um, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So first thing you're going to do if you've got Dex3 open, obviously you've got these two default colors. We've got the green color for Deck A and the orange color for Deck B. And if you're using a four deck skin, obviously you have four different colors on screen, one for each deck. Uh, so depending on what skin file you want to edit, can you edit all four deck colors independently, make them all the same color, or just choose two different colors, you know, for deck A or A side and B side. Uh, so first thing you're going to do if you've got decks three open is close it. I'm demonstrating this on a Windows-based computer. So in Finder, you would simply go to the Apps folder where Dex3 resides, and you can open that folder. And you know the same is applicable to Red Mobile 3 as well. You can edit the skin XML and change the colors of the waveforms. Um, and you can change other colors too, like background color for the library, font colors, and everything else. And we may get into that later, but for now, we're just going to show you how to edit the Dex3 waveforms. Um, so what I'm going to do on a Windows computer is open File Explorer and go to my C drive. On my C drive, I'm going to see my program files x86 folder. You're going to open that, double click to open. In program files x86, you're going to scroll down to the PCDJ folder and open it. Inside the PCDJ folder, locate the Dex3 folder, double click to open it. And inside that, double click to open the skins folder. This is where all the default skins reside. You're going to be presented with a lot of different variations of the skin because there's different skins for every resolution and the various different modes that are built in from 2-deck to 4-deck to 2-deck with sampler and so forth. Uh, so locate the version you want to edit. If you're using the 4-deck skin, default 4-deck skin for Dex3, you're going to be looking for the Dex35 to indicate the latest iteration, Dex35 underscore 4. So this was the, would be the file you're going to edit. So we'll actually, we'll go ahead and edit this one because it's got all four decks and you can really see how you can independently change all the colors. So you're going to right click the file and on a Mac you can hold down control and click for right click. Uh, but you also want to open it into some kind of notepad type editing application that allows you to just edit the text within the XML file. So on Windows, I'm going to right click, choose open with, and choose notepad. And this should be an option on any Windows based computer, whether it's Windows 7 through Windows 10. Open up notepad. So you're going to right click, open with, and choose notepad. It's going to open up the XML file for the skin. Don't be shocked with all the data you see. We're not going to edit any of it. We're looking for something very specific. So essentially, you're going to scroll through this, this uh, XML file, this opened in Notepad, until you locate the section titled, and I will get there eventually, Let's see, sound display, here we are, okay? So you're looking for the section here labeled sound display. All right, so it's real simple. Each deck here has its own line. On two deck skins, you'll only see two of these lines. You won't see all four, but this represents decks A through D, or one through four. Um, the way it's described here is deck zero represents deck A, deck three represents deck D. So you've got zero, one, two, three. Zero is the first deck up to the top left. One is the second deck to the top right. Two is the bottom left deck or deck C. 
and three is the bottom right deck or deck D. So once you've, you're here, this is the portion you're gonna edit right here. Of course you can edit things like loop color, the cube colors, the cursor colors, but for the purpose of this video, we're editing the waveform colors only. So you're looking for data color right here. So how do you get the color codes, right? Well, you need a color code. So edit, open some type of uh, you know, graphics editing application. In my case, I've got Photoshop open in here. So I'll go jump into Photoshop real quick, click your little color palette here, your color picker. And when this pops up, you can go through and pick your colors. So, so we can really see how all this works. I'm gonna kick a, pick a very bright, in your face type of color. This purplish, pinkish kind of color right here. So you pick your color and you got your little color code down here, right? This is my color code. Highlight it. So it's highlighted, right click it, copy it. We're gonna do a control C. So we're copying that. You can now hit OK and minimize your thing, minimize uh, your your graphics editing application. And now go back here in the XML where it says data color. Now for the purpose of this video, and so I'm not taking up all of your day here, I'm just gonna show you, I'm just gonna use the same color code for each deck. So all decks are gonna be the same. So I'm gonna paste in here. Now these are all the same because I was editing or rather testing this earlier, make sure everything worked before I shot the video. Um, so these colors are all the same. Usually on the four deck skin, you will see four independent colors the green, the orange, the blue, and the red. Um, so we're just gonna edit this. Now you want everything after the number sign, okay? So you're gonna highlight all this data here after the number sign, right click and paste. You see how it changed the color code for the one I just selected from Photoshop. Mm -hmm. And pasting them all in. All right, so once they're in here, right, all I have to do is now save. Now, sometimes you need permissions to save to your program files in Windows 8 or Windows 8 through 10, actually. As you see, it's going to ask me. It's going to tell me it exists. Do you want to replace it? I'm going to hit yes. It says access is denied. So what some people have to do, I don't know if this is going to be an issue on Mac, but on Windows, you want to do file, save as, and don't change the name of it, but save it someplace you know you can access, um, access it right away. So we're just gonna save it to my desktop. All right, now I can close it. Still got my folder open here to the Dex3 Skins fo fo folder where I right clicked and opened that file in Notepad. So it's still open here. I can see the file I just saved right here on my desktop. So you're gonna highlight it, you know, Control C or right click, copy. Go into this folder here. Just click somewhere in an area where you're not clicking on a file. And you can right click and say paste. Okay, so you can right click paste or you can do a control V to paste it. But we're just gonna right click and click paste. It's gonna tell me that the file already exists in the directory, which is true. So we're gonna choose the option to replace the file in the destination folder right here. We're gonna replace it. It's going to copy in. It's going to ask me to provide permissions and we're going to hit continue. And the file just went into the Dex3 skins folder in program files. So now I can shut that down. I can exit out of that window and launch Dex3 again. So open Dex3. Go into options and choose the skin. This is the two deck skin, which I did not edit. So we're going to go ahead and go into options under the general tab and choose the four deck mode. And as you can already see, each deck now has this solid purplish line based on the color color I put in. So let's just load a track so you can really see it. Let me just load another deck. So you can see they're all kind of this now purplish color. which looks pretty good. So this is just a way to, to obviously edit the waveforms and make the skin a little bit more your own. You know, some people may not like the green and orange. I think it looks great. 
but this provides you the ability to edit the each deck independently to any color you want. And the purple looks pretty hot. So hopefully that helps you. If you have any questions, uh, we'll be posting this to YouTube and our blog. So feel free to leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. Thanks.